Rosh Hashanah. We explained yesterday a person has to be ready for the day of Rosh Hashanah. He explains specifically what part. This is Yere, you have to be scared, you have to take it serious, he has to be ready to announce to himself. That Kadosh Baruch Hu is Melech Melchem Melchim, is the King of all Kings, Master of the Universe. And Hashem will judge him on his body and his children and his money. Hashem knows all of our thoughts. He knows all of our deeds. He knows of all of our desires. And so, Baruch Hu doesn't need any proof. He doesn't need any witnesses. He himself knows. Ki hu adayan hu ed hu baldin. Because Baruch Hu is the prosecutor, he is the one taking you to court, he is the witness, and he is the judge. He is all of them in one. First, he asked himself, Baruch Hu, he's going to judge me, and he's going to ask, why did you do this, and why did you do that, and what will I answer? What will be my explanation? If I have zero answer, I have no answer, and I will say, I don't know, so I start I have to I have to be, get ready and start coming up with answers and start doing teshuva and or, and and admitting because we know the one who admits Hashem has mercy on him and if a person says Kadosh Baruch Hu you're right and I, I it was wrong and I admit and I want to chazir b'tshuva this is the way to come out successful in the court case Kadosh Baruch Hu will forgive him. Kimach avar kamel lavin we have to know a person can come to Rosh Hashanah Hashem uh, Rabbi what do I have to do uh, teshuva for what did I do wrong. That itself, you need to do shuva for if you don't know what you did wrong. He goes through a list of how many things we do wrong, we have to work on. He says, we have many sins we do through our heart. He says, Many people transgress, hating their brother in their heart. They hold grudges and they have hatred towards another person. Do not take revenge, do not uh, hold a grudge. Right, which we, we explained before means do, if you, you didn't, if he didn't let you borrow his hammer, don't say afterwards, oh, I'm not gonna lend you my hammer because you didn't lend me yours. Or you should say, shouldn't say, oh, I'm gonna lend you my hammer, but I'm not gonna be like you. I remember when I asked you for a hammer, you didn't give me, but here, I'm gonna give you, but here, I, I'm gonna throw it in your face that you didn't give me yours. You cannot hold back. They're giving tzedakah when a person asks you. In many meets positive mitzvot, we don't accomplish 100%. To love Hashem and to go in His ways. After Echa Many, many other uh, uh, mitzvot we do with our heart. He says, how much more so we have to work on Sinat Hinam, basis hatred, Lashon Ara, speaking slander, um, which we know is word is on the same level of It's the same level as the three cardinal sins. We know also Shavuat Shav, saying swearing in vain, I swear, I swear. Or people uh, people say Hashem's name in vain. He says, Gezel, Gazel, people steal, Ona'a, overcharge, Sheker, lies, Avel, and they do dishonesty. They miss prayers, and they miss mitzvot, they miss blessings. And he says, more, many, many, many things. A person has to do hajj nefesh, calculation of the soul, and to do tshuva for all those things. And he says, the number one thing we have to do tshuva for is avon bitu Torah. We know tamut Torah can Learning Torah is the greatest of all the mitzvot. And obviously, the, uh, neg- uh, neglecting and, 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 and wasting your time that you could have used for Torah learning also is on the high level and is considered a very big sin. And that's what we have to do uh, to Shuvah for number one first. Because he says, dino adam divre Torah. One of the first questions they ask you in Shemaim after 120 is, did you set aside time to learn Torah? So you see that Hashem, the first thing He judges a person is about Torah learning. So therefore that's number one, that's the number one agenda we should have to fix. Chol there's a God forbid a curse, there's a bad uh, name, title that they give to a person who purposely neglects Torah learning. He is called the, the, the one who scorns, he's the one who scorns Hashem's word, he's the one who pushed away Hashem's word. On him, the Prakavot says, there's a voice, there's a heavenly voice. Every day that goes out and says, Oy lahem lebriot me el bonash Torah. Woe is to the people 
for this that there's the, 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 the embarrassment and the, and, the, and the pain of the Torah. The Torah feels embarrassed and pained that this is the people neglected. So therefore, he says a person has to make sure to ask himself, do I really set it aside enough time to learn Torah learning in the morning and in the evening? And the person has to make sure that at least he won't be a part of the four groups that Elaim Chelek Lomaba, which is the Mesaprele Shonara, people who speak on Shonara, Litzanim, people who are scoffers, they make jokes out of everything, they take serious things and make it into, into, into not so serious, Hanfanim is people who do flatterers, people who say things against the Torah, we tell them, yeah, yeah, teprav, teprav, because they have something to gain, and Shakranim and liars, we don't want to be a liar, all these things we have to clean up, we have to clean up our mess, if a person is able to, uh, uh, get a get a uh, get out of jail free card. Why not use it? If the person went went over the speed limit. You go to the judge and ask them, please don't give me points, don't give me a fine. The judge will say, are you crazy? Of course I have to give you a fine. Of course I have to give you tickets. But here, Hashem says, all you have to do is teshuvah and I'll erase everything. So it's a great chesed. Hashem didn't have to do this for us. It's a great chesed. So therefore we should go and get ready before the day of Rosh Hashanah.